Well, it's the day we should have been taking some food to the refuse kids, so a big sack of rice that we try and do every month. But as you can see, like I've discussed before, it's the rainy season and this is about every day. There's very few days where the sun, and even if the sun, it lasts till about dinner time and then the heavens open up. But uh, I'm not complaining, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just telling you how it is. And of course we have the uh, obligatory flooding. So uh, we won't be taking the food today. The other thing is, because of the rain, e even though obviously I've got the van, um, we get there and it's flooded there as well. So we've got to give it a day or two to dry out. And it never seems to totally dry out, which you've probably seen on other videos. Well, another lovely day in paradise. We've actually got a typhoon. What's it called, Mel? Oduha. 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 Die of the typhoon in Bisaya. Big The eye of the typhoon is in Bisaya. Yeah. The rain is just not stopping because it's a typhoon, it's torrential. It's it's been going on all overnight. As you can see, it's morning now. What time is it now? Ten o'clock. Um usually about six o'clock there's lovely sunlight when uh, normally. So I got a message and I'll put it up on screen. And I, I'm not like saying it word for word, but it basically amounted to um, use, use bloggers make me laugh. Basically, if you run out of money, your so called girlfriends will drop you. Well, I can say with 100% honesty how I feel my family would not drop me because I've never felt so loved in all my life. Now I've made loads of mistakes in my life, some with women and looking back I knew what I was doing but I still went ahead and did it, you know. I'm a great believer in gut feeling and if your gut's telling you no then turn around and don't look back and I know us men it's hard to do when uh, <laughs> the heart is overruling the head I'll use the heart as a nicer a nicer part of the body overrules your head and takes you down paths in a ideal world you wouldn't go down but that's not what I can say about my family here. I I can say with 100% hand on my heart that if I run out of money I'd be looked after. I get looked after now. I can't go to that shop without my uh, mum, ma, putting food in my face. And do I want soda that I don't have to pay for? Do I want coffee I don't have to pay for? I don't have to pay for none of it. And every try time I try to pay for something or give Ma something, whether it's birth, whatever it is, she doesn't want to take it. Not that she's been mean. M Mel's tried to explain it to, him, to me before, but she says she feels ashamed. She's never asked for money. Mel, do you know what? In the West, now, this is just my personal recollection of what, when I was in the West. How I used to show my a lot of my affection was to buy presents and take them out for a meal, tell them how much you love them and you know all, all that and I can't do that here with Mel because she doesn't want me to take her for food she doesn't want me to buy her presents I mean is come on guys is that known in the West is that absolutely known in the West it's not and I'll give you I'll give you a really big example about how you cannot compare a, a country like 
uh, in Asia like the Philippines to the West because Western women, Western standards are totally upside down to what they are here and I don't mean that in a you know that it's a totally bad way I mean you just can't sit in the West and compare your standards to the Philippines or Cambodia or you know anywhere Korea anywhere and I'm on about South Korea not North Korea and I'll, I'll give you a very good example of what really made me so sad Two years after my divorce, I went on a dating site in the UK. Girls date for free. And I can tell you without exception the kind of uh, questions I got asked. And some of these questions went along the lines of, do you have your own home? What kind of car have you got? Oh, where do you work? what job do you do now I don't know if you'll agree and tell me in the comments if you don't but to me that was all the kinds of questions if I was money orientated that I would ask because in the West women brag about oh my boyfriends a fireman or my my husband works in a bank we live in a, a, a big big house on such and such a estate so to to try and say you know I get these comments they're after your money well yes they are but at least a lot of them's honest about it even Mel says I want it I wanted financial security but I also wanted a man that wasn't going to go out with the boys and wasn't going to cheat on me and was going to love me and, and care for me the difference is is so big y you can't you can't put the two together you know you can't s s sit on your high horse and say oh they're just after your money look some are Th there's no doubt in that the evidence is overwhelming but there is a lots of good girls out there ladies that want a foreigner to look and they'll look after them and you'll get looked after here better than you would ever do in the West. And before people say, you know, which I've had comments, oh God, have I had comments, loads of comments, negative comments that I've had to delete about, oh, you're using them as a slave and you, blah, 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 you know. If, if you're a, a good person, and look, we've all got our problems, but if you're a reasonably good person, that doesn't happen. You treat the woman with respect. You don't use them. You don't treat them as slaves. When women or men find out how women here treat the men, they would interpret it as that because in the West, it's all this feminist 50-50, if I'm at work, you make my tea when I get home. You know, I work as well and all that, and you, you clean the house, and here it's not. Here they clean the house, and they make the food, and they look after you, and they want to wipe your, your sweaty head and back and everything when you're sweating, and they really look after you. So please, I'm begging you because I'll just delete your comments don't leave ignorant comments on the site about a subject most don't even know have no knowledge of and just have looked just have looked at other bloggers videos and come to a conclusion nine times out of ten is just wrong so unless you've bathed in the waters please <laughs> please don't make these tar everybody with the same brush because you just can't do it you know be nice and if your comments civil you won't be blocked but a lot of them they're just so misinformed I can tell you now that I've never been so happy in all my life Lion
Birds roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping